<clears throat> Alright, back again. And today we're going to be taking a look at the SD to SNES again. Because something great just happened fairly recently. I don't know how long ago, but... As of this weekend, I discovered that the SD to SNES now finally has Super FX support. So, that means games like Yoshi's Island and Star Fox will work on it. So, I'm going to be giving you a brief tutorial on what to put on your SD card when you're, when you're set, when you, if you want to play Super FX games on your SD to SNES. And it's, it's really simple. You don't need to have a special version of the SD to SNES which that would have been terrible as I only got this recently. But yeah, you just need any SD to SNES, any regular SD card and just put the new firmware on it that supports Super FX. It's still in beta stages, so it's a bit buggy. And we're gonna take a look at the current version in side-by-side -side comparison with the real games and I played through Star Fox and Yoshi's Island and they actually didn't play that bad at all I noticed some slight slowdown but yeah that's to be expected because like I said the it's still in the beta stage when the creators figure out how to make it run faster then yeah but anyway, enough talking, let's get right into it. <clears throat> okay, so... I'm going to turn the SNES on, and we're going to test out some Super FX games and make comparisons to the real hardware. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure the firmware is on properly, so press X and go to System Information. You should see firmware version 0.1.7e GSU version 5. That's the latest version at the time of this video. If you don't see GSU on, on your firmware version, that means it does not support SuperFX. Alright, let's go to ROMs. Let's go to. Star Fox, and I'm going to play the intro side by side with the real SNES version and the ROM on the SD to SNES. Alright, here goes.
Alright, so we're gonna try the training. Alright, enough of the training, and we're gonna look at the intro cutscene, and see how that compares to the original game. Alright, enough of this, and we're gonna try Yoshi's Island now, which is a Super FX2 game, as opposed to Super FX1. Where is Yoshi's Island at?
gonna jump in both versions just to see the difference. All right. All right. So as you can see, it, it runs it runs all right. For it being in in beta stages. You know, I I I know it's slower like I notice it a bit, but it's not that bad. I mean, the games they are playable. They're, they're definitely playable. Now, just for fun, we're going to try Star Fox 2. This is the version of Star Fox 2 that was on the SNES Classic. So it's the final release. Let's try it out. I can't show any comparison for this game, but I'm just showing it just for fun. There are people that make reproduction cards of this game. Thank you. 
fun little missions on this game. I'm a bit tired though, I actually, it's like nearly 10 o'clock and I got home a little while ago. But I just wanted to make this quick video showing that Super FX games finally work on the SD to SNES or any flash card in general, this this is the first one to support it. Because that was always an issue with SNES flash cards, special chip games, because there were quite a bit of SNES games that had some form of special chips. And it wasn't just the Super FX, there was there was like one of those Capcom chips that are in Mega Man X2 and 3. There's the SA1 chip that's in Kirby Superstar. There's the DSP that some flashcards won't work with. And many more that can give a lengthy incompatibility list. But, I mean, it's not all that bad. There's only a few special chips games that I find worth playing anyway. But anyway, that's it. I just wanted to take a look at a few Super FX games on the SD to SNES. As always, more to come. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned. Bye.